but I've just been going around my poly hives and <laughs> I'm not very happy. I posted this picture yesterday. That's the first one. Okay, but I've just been going around here and then I've just found two more that I'm not very happy about. So, and the, the last one is blazingly obvious. Look at that, woodpecker. Things are looking up. We have sunshine. I have coffee. I have chocolate hobnobs. So what could be better? <laughs> I've actually just hired this machine for the day because um, I've got a lot of clearance to do. Not so much because I'll be building here, but I've hired this machine because it's really good at taking out small trees and brambles and all that kind of stuff. It's a knife hammer, rotary hammer, but it's actually on caterpillars at the back. The only thing is the machine hasn't got as much power to go forward. I think it's quite regulated, but it's an OREC and OREC are Japanese. And I've got the same type of machine that I use as a brush cutter. Obviously it's different altogether. It's got wheels rather than tracks. And you can see the chains under here. I'll just see if you can see that. There's the flails. It is a good piece of kit. Nukes are looking good. Look at that. Teeming full of bees. Look how the wood lice live on top there. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they not very happy? <laughs> we'll leave that on top there. But we've got a bit of decent weather. We finally have high pressure. I think we had five days of continuous rain and drizzle last week, finishing Wednesday. So um, I have been so anxious to start clearing up down here. All these hives are gonna be moved. And uh, it's just nice too. Feel that sunshine. So no news yet, I'm still waiting. I'm still within the time envelope. I have to wait for planning consent and that's the initial yay or nay. And then after that, I get my plan submitted as soon as I can. Um, so do you want to see where I had three swarms last year? <laughs> One, two, three i haven't even moved those yet but you can see what i've been doing the machine is absolutely great i've been chomping through all of this kind of stuff that i that i in the past left i know this is good barn owl material but i've got to make sacrifices all this is going to go and be cleared so i've just got the machine in to make a start i've just been clearing around today and it really is a good machine it, it is great when you've got low level stuff and you can see it's ripped out the brambles really well here but it just won't push forward into that. It's taken out brambles and small trees here, which is a massive help for me because then I can, this is the edge of my boundary basically. And that hedge I planted is a hawthorn hedge. It goes all the way down. You can probably see the metal farmer's fence I put in, That's my, that marks the edge. But I've got to get a tractor in just to tuck back that, just to cut that back a little bit. Not hard, just to flail it back. But it's very dry here in the summer, so it doesn't actually grow that much. But these brambles will all go, and this hedge will be trimmed back again like it was last year. I'm just managing to keep on top of it now, which is good. So, um, it's all management you have to do. But it looks an awful lot better now. I can see where everything is. And I'm quite pleased with that. Just so nice to have some decent weather. Honestly, it's been so bad. The bees don't like the machine, which is understandable, but once you go past once, they soon seem to uh, to stop, and then they don't bother the second time, really. It's 
not quite as big a colony, but they're good. And they're pretty feisty. These are dark bees anyway, so I'm not going to hang around here. Shouldn't really be messing with them anyway. But it is what it is. So let's run the machine up and I'll show you it working. When I'm finished my coffee and biscuit. So this machine has also, I didn't say, independent, obviously braking for each left and right caterpillar track, which means as you saw in the video, you can actually maneuver pretty easily. It's a four stroke engine, obviously fairly powerful. Hammer knife rotor. And that's the make of this one. It's an HRC663. So what do I think of it? If you've got the right, just the right height of scrub to clear, it's great. Would I buy one? No, that's why I'm renting it for the day. That's cost me 90 euros to rent for the day and I leave it filled with fuel and clean when I bring it back. That's how the, the shop works. Um, you can actually ride on the back plate. You saw sometimes I was getting on and off of it. There's a back plate there which makes it a bit interesting when you're doing large areas, it means you're not walking. And also you get your feet dry because you get really messy with the, with all the stuff you chop up. But I mean, overall, it's a good machine. It takes out small, small shrubs, which is great when you're trying to clear an area quickly, which I've done. Obviously the bees don't like it. Um, so that's why I've come early morning. Probably the worst scenario because they're all being disturbed while they're in their cluster. But then we're going to fly anyway, the sun's out, so it's not such a bad thing. So I'm going to carry on. But anyway, that was just a bit of an update. I'm in a bit of flux at the moment, waiting on many, many things, people to get back to me. So I'm just plodding along, getting all these clearing jobs done. And also enjoying a lovely bit of sunshine. So whatever you're doing, be well. And get some sun on you. Catch you again soon. Bye bye.